Hello again guys, it's Chicano Dude Outdoors and today I'm going to be showing you guys all my gear that I'm going to be using uh, when I go fishing. So, let's get to it. Uh, start, with, start with this one. This one, uh, I don't know what brand, oh yeah, it's Zebco. It's, a, it's the slingshot. It's for small, small type of fish. I got... A different reel with this is not the reel that, that that came with this there was a different color it was red this one's orange and got tied on small frog if it can focus there we go and there's a broken one right here just completely snapped because I was fighting a big fish took the reel off it's garbage now <clears throat> there it goes. knocking stuff over man all right and here we got the move it over here the bad lighting all right hope it doesn't fall so right here I got the Shakespeare Tiger this uh, costed under $20 and I'm going to tell you right now, everything that I got that was fishing, that's all my fishing gear, I got it from uh, Walmart. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, it's got all good stuff. It's all good stuff. It's great. It, w it works perfectly fine. All my stuff works perfectly fine. Nothing's ever failed except that went well. I didn't get that one from Walmart. Someone gave that one to me. So, yeah, this one's a medium action rod. It's used for bigger, much bigger species than what I'm after, like catfish or or bowfin. While I'm down at the river, when I'm fishing, I got a mustad six six aught hook. It looks bigger. In real life, and I've gotten poked by these many times before. It's not good. And I got a got a one ounce weight right here, a bank sinker. But I always fish from the shore, and a and a wire leader. I think it's about mm, let's say I don't know about twenty four inches I think of wire trace whoops that thing's fallen whoa <laughs> all right this one the, the real this one that I was talking about that was red it wasn't that one for this other rod over here for the slingshot this one's a different one if you can read it right there right there this one was given to me also this one was also bought from Walmart and someone gave it to me this one is a very old reel this one's a Shakespeare well you can't really see it whoops drags there you go Shakespeare and I got oh yeah on this on the reel I got 15 pound uh, monofilament the same with the same with uh, the same with uh, this rod and and the bait caster this one we got 15 pound too Focus, yes. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna show you this this rod as well. And this uh the Shakespeare rod, this one I put on a 30 pound monofilament green line. You know, cause I like green; it was the brightest color that there was 
that was there at the store. All right. This one was also bought at Walmart as well. Crap. 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 All right. Oh, I thought I broke something. If you can't read that, it says balance. It says ultra balance. I don't know what brand this is. I'm not sure what it, what brand this is. This one's got. Oh, here it is. Here's the brand name. I didn't see it. Pinnacle. Um, this one I don't really like to use much because I always get backlash on this pretty bad backlash and then I have to take most of the line off and then take maybe the rest of it off if I don't have enough but yeah this one does good I caught a lot of fish on it and caught mostly bass on this I've used off I always uh, I can't talk um, I also use this to catch small species such as like uh, like bluegill and stuff. Bluegill and tilapia I've caught this with. There's tilapia in a pond or a small lake where I fish it. And they are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And I got a... It's got a 5 odd. Uh, offset shank worm hook is uh, gamma gamakatsu and a a bullet weight I think it's about I'm not sure what ounce it is but it's a pretty big weight I can't see I mean what is up with this now it's dark over here here we go. A little bit of light. Yeah, there you go. I'm so sorry, guys, for the... The... Let's see. The... The video, like, how it is. Like, it's kind of dark in here. But, you guys... Well, I'm doing this inside my shed right now. Well, not my shed. It's somebody else's shed. Um, yeah, this is all it. And then I'm going to show you right now all of my baits that I have. So, right here, I got... I got the spool of a uh, 30 pound trilene big game line. And then I got let's play some wire cutters right here. These are the mustad hooks that I was using. They were 6 odd. Well, didn't really want to focus. And then I got a uh, Havoc, Berkeley Havoc. These are called a uh, craw fatty. They're kind of like, uh, they look like crawfish, but I don't really use them too much. There it is. It's a blue and black mix of colors. It's mostly black with uh, blue, with blue glitter on it. The bee. Yeah. Um, oh oh, my jig head just fell out. I use these also to catch bass with. Caught one blue girl on these. Yeah, that's better. Now you can see it. Well, I don't really want to put them somewhere. And 
And I got Strike King, Super Toad. Haven't used these yet, but in future videos I might use these. Top water. Bass are feeding now. Since it's winter, it's getting, becoming winter time. And I got Pyramid Sinkers, 2 ounce. In case I could go to the river, I use these. Sinks really good. And I got a knife. A knife. A knife. This knife I use to uh, either cut line or cut bait. Like with these rods, I'll go down to the river, I'll catch small bluegill for bait, and then I'll cut those up. I got, well, this box not really organized. Had to put somewhere because I don't have another box. And I got uh, weighted floats. These I'll use to live line uh, minnows. Or use them to catch a bluegill. But I don't really like to use floats when I fish for bluegill by the river because the bluegill there, they're really finicky and they don't really like. Uh, to bite any, anything that has a line attached to it. So I'll put this away and I'll show you to the two other boxes that I have. And if this video cuts out early, it might be because of uh, insufficient space on this phone. God, I can't get through. Ah. There's got there's a lot there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so um I'm gonna save uh the rest of this, these two boxes, for part two of my video guys. Uh like, subscribe, and favorite. See you guys in the next episode or video. Goodbye.